making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Get some bacon then and put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Hey y'all, it's Hans East Texas. Welcome back again this week. We've got another review for you. Uh, this is a product that we've reviewed recently on the Late Night Vision Show podcast. I know we've had several reviews here uh, in the past and we've got so many thermal scopes and optics and night vision included in that as well. Uh, and we're trying to get all these, test them out in the field, get uh, reviews for you out there as quick as we can, uh, and then get back to hunting. So uh, here coming up very soon in the next few days, I'll be putting out a number, another thermal hog hunting video. I've got a ton of hog kills that I need to put out there that I've been holding on to uh, because we're trying to get through these uh, through these reviews. But today we are talking about the uh, Pulsar Axion Key XM30. Now, this is a, a brand new uh, thermal monocular, handheld thermal monocular that was announced at the SHOT Show in uh, Las Vegas back in January. Uh, it just now hit the market. Uh, people and dealers are, are now getting a chance to use it out in the field, get their opinions on them, uh, and, and relay that back to people that are interested in uh, you know, using these out in the field. So this is not a thermal monocular that's going to be replacing the Pulsar Helions. This is more uh, this uh, specific model, the Axion, is more in the line of the, the quantum lights. If you do remember those, that's a thermal monocular that was discontinued uh, quite some time ago. But uh, this is more to replace that entry-level thermal handheld monocular unit. So again, this is the Pulsar Key XM30. I'm going to run down the specs. We don't have any video to show you with it, uh, unfortunately, because there's no way to record with the key model. Now, there are three different Axion models. You have the key XM30. Uh, you've got the uh, regular XM30, so the non-key model. Uh, and then you have the XM38. So three different Axion models. This is the entry level or the least expensive of the Axion models. I'll run down the specs right now. So uh, as you can see, uh, a very small one of the smallest, um, you know, handheld thermal monoculars that you're going to find out on the market. The weight on it is 8.8 .8 ounces. Uh, very, very small. Fits right into your pocket when you're, uh, you know, walking around. It's one of the best things about it. So it's a 320 by 240 uh, resolution thermal monocular. This is the very first 320 um, uh, thermal that Pulsar has put out. So it's a 320 and it's 12 microns. Very first one that they've done. Uh, the uh, base magnification on it is 2.5. It goes up to 10 power. Uh, and again, for a handheld monocular, uh, I prefer to have a, a lower magnification. To me, it works out better. Uh, it's just from riding around. It doesn't hurt my eyes. It doesn't give me a headache when I'm riding around in a truck scanning or on a side-by-side -side or four-wheeler. Uh, and again, for people out there that are ranged in longer distances, one of the other models might be uh, better suited for you, but you know, for the 2.5 is, is typically something I like to keep within. Uh, it's got rechargeable battery packs. And it's got one little button on the front, allows you to take the battery out. It goes on a stand. You can get about four hours of runtime on this battery. It's a little bit, uh, well, I'll say a little bit. It's, it's <laughs> pretty significantly less then the, the big rechargeable batteries on the Helion, uh, you get four hours of runtime on it. So if you do get one of these, I would suggest picking up a spare battery. Uh, they run about $100, but it's nice to have a spare. You know, you get about four hours of runtime on this. The one good thing about this model uh, is, and I think it lacks on some, is the ability to focus not just the eyepiece up on the front, but it gives you the ability to adjust, this, uh, uh, to adjust the objective focus on the front. So you get that the uh, clearest picture as you possibly can. Uh, another change that we've seen with this, uh, and you can kind of see the direction that Pulsar is going, the Pulsar uh, Axions and the Thermions as well that are coming out in late summer, they have multiple color palettes. As you know, in the past, you had a choice between white hot and black hot. Uh, with this, you're gonna have several different color options, uh, color palettes to choose from. And uh, again, we'll be showing some video of those with the other Axion models, but uh, again, there's no video uh, capabilities with this uh, scope right here or for this optic right here. Um, the lens diameter, it's a 30 millimeter objective lens. I'll just go ahead and scan so you can see the button layout on the top. It allows you to, to go through the menu, allows you to uh, zoom in, zoom out, um, and uh, you know a wide variety of different things. This model does not have the Stream Vision app. 
Um, it does not, uh, obviously it does not record. And um, so it's, it's your, really your base model. It's, the price on this is $1,899.97. So right now it is um, the least expensive, one of the least expensive thermal monoculars on the market. And I'm going to get right into what I like and what I don't like. Normally we'd be showing videos right now, but what I like about this obviously is the price. Um, for $1,900, you can have a thermal scanner uh, that you can use alongside a thermal scope or a night vision scope that allows you and gives you the capability of, of not having to hold your rifle all night or take your scope off your rifle to scan with. I mean, for $1,900, bucks, you are in the game. I've said it many times in the past. I'll continue to say it. A thermal handheld monocular will allow you to see um, and and basically have a chance, a better chance of getting more hogs and coyotes. You'll see more than just relying on your scope to hold up and scan all the time, just because you're you're not going to want to do that. It's just so convenient and easy to have this uh, and be scanning as you're walking out to your favorite hunting spots. Many times I get hogs that I uh, would never would have seen before just on the way on a trail to where I normally hunt. So, um, you know, the price point on it is, is definitely an advantage uh, and, and a, a very positive thing. The size, 8.8 .8 ounces, the ability to, you know, that slips on your hand very quick and easy, can slip it in your pocket. It's, this is, I, I love this over the, the Helion. Uh, the Helion is a little bit longer, a little bit bulkier, can't slip in your pocket. So this definitely has the advantage over that. Um, those are the two, the, the two, uh, likes that I, that I have. I think, um, it's got a, uh, a 1300 yard, uh, detection range. So when they say a detection range, that's a humid size target. Uh, it will pick up a thermal, uh, image on that target at 1300 yards. I think the ID, ID range on this is going to be more in the, uh, 200 to maybe 250 um, where you can actually tell if it's a deer or a hog or a coyote or something else. I think it's going to be around that 200 range. Um, so, you know, that's uh, for those that are doing that type of hunting that aren't hunting long distances, long ranges, I think it's going to be perfect for you. Um, so those are the likes that I have about it. Uh, the dislikes, um, really, I think the only, uh, you know, obviously um, it, it doesn't have the internal video recorder, but um, you can step up into another model and we'll talk about the other models in a, in a little bit. You can step up into a, another model that allows you and gives you the internal video recording. This is for people that really don't care about that uh, and just want to get something as least expensive as possible. So I can't really say that that's a disadvantage because you have other options. Um, I, the, the, the biggest, um, I think negative that I think about it is I feel like when I'm looking through it, that the display screen, uh, it seems kind of small, uh, or it, it's hard to explain it, but it feels like your eye is further away from the actual image in the screen. I don't know why it is. It could be the type of display screen that they're using. Um, other than that, though, when you see the image and it looks good and you can, you know, you can plainly tell if there's an animal a couple hundred yards in front of you, it just looks like your eyeball is further away from that screen than, than normal. It is not like that on the XM30, the regular XM30 and the XM38. It doesn't, that perception is not there. It's only on this key model that I feel like, uh, it feel like, you know, that, that, that eyepiece is a little bit, or that image is a little bit further from the eyepiece. And it just gives that impression that it's further away. Um, so really those are my only dislikes about it. So the difference between um, this, and I'll go in briefly because we're going to do reviews on the, the on the other Axion models as well. This is the Key XM30, price on its eighteen ninety nine ninety seven. That's one thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars. The XM30 is uh, twenty one ninety nine, two thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars. And I would suggest, um, if you can, depending on your budget, I would step up into the uh, the regular XM30 model because you get the un internal video recording. It's a base power of uh, 4.1, but it feels like it has a bigger display screen and it feels like that image is in the right placement, uh, you know, related to where your eye is. It just, it seems like it has a bigger, fuller image. Um, so that I would, if you can, if you have the ability, I would step up into the XM30. I'm not saying anything bad about this, but this, this is the basic one. This is the least expensive one. 
uh, and the step up is about is around three hundred dollars. So if you can, I would uh, I would definitely step up into that that second model. The XM thirty uh, eight, it's a five point five power, so it's quite a bit more magnification. Does include the video recording display screen on it looks great. Uh, you know I've been using all of them out in the field testing them all out, but wanted to give you a chance to see the key XM thirty. If you have any questions about it, please comment to the video. Go check them out at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. Uh, we can uh, uh, answer any question that you have about them. Uh, give Jason a call at 877-350-1818. Thank you all for checking out the Late Night Vision Show podcast. Again, this week we'll be coming out with more hog hunting videos. Thank you all for joining me this week. Good luck in the fields and keep making them bacon pancakes. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also, the Late Night Vision Show podcast. To subscribe to that YouTube channel, just hit this logo right here to the left. And to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.